morning, everyone. This is Art Talk. Where we talk about arts. I am your host, Nina Katrin Eduque, alongside by my co-host, Robic Puerto Ilo. Also with our panelists, slash commentator, Shane Palmes and Jan Paul Marfil. We also joined by our first lovely cast, Jayan Mercada, who is gracious to accept our invite. Good morning, Jayan. How are you? Um, I'm doing fine. Okay, lang naman ako. Okay, so our panelists will ask you a few questions, and you will answer it one by one. Are you ready, na po ba? Uh, I'm ready. Okay, so let us give the floor to our panelists, Shane Palmas, and to our guest, Jayan Mercaida. But first, Miss Jayan Mercaida, um, this is um, Shane Palmas who will address the questions for you. And here they are. What is your name? Um, first, I'm Jayan B. Mercaida. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. What made you become interested in arts? First, ano lang, parang unexpected lang kasi dahil sa nung grade 11, di ba? Parang undecided ako kumuha ng course. So, yung school namin dati, may slot lang siya ng animation. And yun na yung tinuro ko. <laughs> parang wala lang. Ito na, ito na yun. Then, Nag-aral na ako kasi, yun na yung ano ko eh, yun na yung course na kinuha ko eh. Pang two years course ko na yun eh. So, inaral ko siya and ayun, madami ako natutunan. And nag- nag- nagkaroon ako ng interest dun sa iba't ibang mediums of arts na ginagamit for animations. So, yun. How many years since you started making arts or how long have you been making arts? Um, siguro kasi nung bata ko, hindi talaga ako magaling. Hindi... Ayoko mag ayoko magkulay-kulay. <laughs> ayoko talaga. Nag nag-start lang siya talaga nung ano nga undecided ako sa kumuha ng course nung grade 11. And and then yun, 2 years ago na yon. So 2 years na din ako bilang artist. Do you prefer traditional or digital and why? Um kasi ngayon na na ako sa mga explore na ako. So na kaya ko na ng trad or digital ay digital arts and, and traditional arts na din. And bakit? Kasi ano, mas nakikita ko yung sarili ko sa arts. And madami akong natutunan ng iba't ibang ano, bagay or yung mga mga ano, mga bagay na hindi ko talaga alam na parang naiinteresan ko ganun. Parang siya yung way para matuto ko sa gantong bagay. And yun din yung dahilan kung bakit ako maraming nakikilala din na tao. So, yun. How long have you been making this kind of art style? How long? Yung two years na nga po. Nag, ano ako, um, ginagawa ko both trad and digital. And yun, madami din mediums, hindi lang trad na In your own opinion, how does your art style differ from other art styles? Hirap na tanong pa. <laughs> Kasi, lahat ng artists, kung makikilala man ninyo, madami talagang mga unique na na style na ginagawa nila. Like, kunyari ako, itong style kong to, kala ko, unique na to, pero sa ibang ba, sa iba, Pag may research mo, meron na palang ganong style. So, feeling ko, yung akin, na iba siya sa iba, yung pagiging um, malikot yung mind ko, like, aware ako sa lahat ng mga nangyayari or sitwasyon na nangyayari ngayong, ngayong, ngayong taon na to. And, yung pagiging malikot kong, ano, creative mind ko, na ilalagay ko siya dun sa sa papel. Which is, yun ay yung art style ko. Kahit, kahit na iba-iba, kahit ano, um, abstract man or ganyan, kasi iba-iba kasi yung style ko eh. Hindi ko, wala akong sariling, um, wala akong specific na style. 
to it. What mediums do you use for your arts? Mediums? Ayun nga, ang dami. Like, traditional, nag-charcoal ako. Um, Nag-lapis ako, graphite. And, ano pa ba? Sa digital naman, yun nga, yung mga apps. Mga, mga ano, mga, kanyari Photoshop, mga Adobe Photoshop, or I use paint. Pag ano naman sa painting naman, Ayun uh, nga, yung acrylic, oil, and pwede din pasta, or watercolor. Parang halos lahat, natry ko na din. What techniques you usually do in making your drawings or paintings? Madami kong techniques na nagagawa eh, para maging simple or maging madali lang yung, ano, yung pagawa ko sa mga art. Like, pero nag, di na ako nag-i-grade kasi freehander na ako ako. I'm a freehand artist ko. And feeling ko na sana yun na ako mag, ano, ng mga perspective or yung mga, um, kung ano yung, parang tuman siya ng bagay. Ganun. Kasi pag nag-grade ako, kasi pag nag-grade ako, mas matatagalan pa ako dyan. So, sinanay ko yung sarili ko maging mag-freehand na lang. Ayun lang ako. Does each of your drawings or painting represent something? <laughs> Depende kasi sa painters yun eh. Pero, karamihan ng mga arts ko, nagre-represent yun sa sarili ko. Ayan. Do you make other arts except for your painting and drawing? Like crafts arts? Hmm, basta po kasama po siya sa, sa arts industry. Is there anything you would like to tell about your experience with making arts? Um, okay. Sa akin, oh, mahirap, mag, mahirap, may madali sa arts. Uh, mahirap kasi kailangan ano ka eh kailangan sensitive ka sa bag sa lahat ng bagay para magkaroon ka ng masterpiece yun yung parts na yun yung obra mo and kumika yun na um, ayun mahirap din dahil nagstruggle ako sa uh, uh, sa tatawa lang ako kasi misal, miselos ba? Kasi sa arts kasi, uh, mahirap makipag-competition. Lalo na kapag nandito ka sa, kanyari ako, at finals ako, madami akong kakilalang artists. Madami akong, madami akong nakikita ng arts. Madami akong uh, nakakasalubuhan nakakasalubu ka ng mga pro artists. At minsan, nakapaisip ako na, Parang ano na to, parang, parang binababa ko yung sarili ko na hindi ako magaling, hindi ako magaling sa ganito kasi magaling siya. Yun, yun yung biggest ano ko po na struggle ko sa sarili ko na parang nagsiself-pity ako. Na minsan din, uh, nainggit din na. Thank you again, Jayan Nathaida. Would you like to say something? Okay yun naman na. Kasi, ayun, okay na ako. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And now for our next guest, for another art talk, let us welcome Ivan Perante. Hi, Ivan Perante. Hi po. Good day po. How are you naman po, Mr. Ivan? I'm fine. I'm doing well po. So let me introduce you again to our partner slash commentator Jack Omarpia and Shin Thomas. But now in question and answer, Jan Omarpia will be the one to ask you a question. Are you ready? Yes, but ready na po. Okay, so let us start. Jan Omarpia and Ivan Perante, the floor is now yours. Good day, Ivan. I am John Paul Marfil, and I am your panelist for today. So here is my question for you. So let's start for the background. What is your name? 
Ivan Peranta. And how old are you? 20 years old. What made you become interested in arts? Bata pa lang ako noon, mahilig na ako manood ng cartoons sa nanay. Then, doon nagsimula magpiking interest ko sa arts. Napapata lang ako palagi kung paano nagagawa nila yung isang particular na scene. Then, naalala ko pa noon, ginagaya ko yung isang scene gamit yung paper animation. Pero yung mga dinodrawing ko, mga stickman figure. How many years since you started making arts? Grade 3 ako noon, mahilig na ako mag-drawing you know, kung ano-ano. Pero 2017, nagsimula ako mag-focus sa pag-drawing. Then 2018, nag-aral ako bilang animation student. And then 2018 rin, doon ako nagsimula ako kumuha ng commission. So, mga 6 to 7 years na akong gumagawa ng mga arts. Pero marami pa rin akong hindi natutututunan. Now, in style, do you prefer traditional or digital and why? Digital. Madami ka comments na magagamit. Sa traditional kasi may limit. Yeah. What kind of art style you usually prefer and why? Dati, realistic drawing yung ginagawa ko. But now, kung kilala niya si Thomas Rolls, isa rin siyang artist. Yung style niya is animated character with full of movement. Nag-decide ako kung aralin din yung art style niya. And how long have you been making this kind of art style? Seven to eight months. In your own opinion, how does your art style differ from other styles? Simple and clean, but in dynamic movement. Like it mo dun sa art style mo. What medium do you use for your arts? Photoshop, but transitioning to Clip Studio. What techniques do you usually do in, in making your paintings or drawing? Nag-start ako sa mood board. Uh, yung mood board, dun ko kinocomply lahat yung reference image ko. Yung color na gagamitin ko. Then, next na gagawin ko is sketching. Then, i-render ko na yung gawa ko. Then, para sa ulit, finalization. Tingnan ko kung may mali ba or maaari ba akong pwedeng baguhin para mapaganda yung particular na artworks na gawa ko. And I want to know if does of your painting or drawing represent something? Yep, yung mga uh, artworks ko nagkare-represent siya sa ipat ibang mga uh, emotion ko. Nagawa kasi ako kapag masaya ako, malungkot, paggali. Iba kasi yung pakiramdam mo kapag nakakagawa ka ng artworks based sa emotion mo. Parang nabubuhos mo dun sa artworks mo lahat. Yung mga bagay na yun. So nakakagawa kagawa ka ng kakaibang artwork. Do you make other arts except for painting and drawing? Like art crafts arts? No, I just draw it. Um, is there anything you would like to share with, with us with your experience in making arts? No, uh, may papayo ko lang is be humble ka lang pala eh. uh, kasi no matter how good you are there is always Asian kid to do it better. And that's yeah. Thank you for your participation. Back to you, Rovic. Thank you, John Paul. Um, would you like to add or say something, Mr. Ivan? Um, it's good to keep moving, even if you have to start from the bottom again. Keep grinding on the flag. Thank you again, Ivan Peran. Have a nice day. Thank you, Paul. So, patapos ng ating talk show, guys. Would you like to add something, insights, or anything? Because shame. Art is the mirror of the soul. 
we can express and show what we really feel with the drawings we make. It reflects our mood, the feelings and emotions depend on the show, the way we color and the theme of the art we are making. Art gives us freedom to create something out of this world, make the fantasy turns into reality. God created us means that we humans are also an art. For me, art is something that, that we usually use in our daily lives. With the use of arts, we can express our thoughts, feelings, and ideas through making arts. For example, um, sculpting, drawing, painting, and many more. Um, but in making arts, there are many various techniques that the artist use. But the most important is what is the message of their um, arts that they are making because every art there are deep meaning on it if it's bad good or happy experience the most important is the message of it the message of their arts for me based on what Ivan Peranta mentioned we do in fact use arts to express ourselves um, emotions and sentiments are very important element of being an artist. Of it strengthens uh, people's ability to connect their, themselves to their authentic selves. It's something that uh, cannot be contained and can only be felt by um, only experiencing it and creating it. Because um, with arts, um, we can freely create anything, whatever we want to. How about you, Nina? Do you have um, any insights? Yung insights ko dito sa talk show na to. About to sa mga artists na interview na dito is um, kilala man or hindi kilala artists. Um, dapat i-appreciate natin yung mga arts na dito. Kasi hindi lang basta hindi lang basta yung arts. Um, kasama dun yung effort about Julian, um, time na kinugugo nila para nila sa arts na rin. Um, sa simpleng pag-appreciate lang ng mga arts na ginagawa nila is um, malaking bagay na sa kanila. So we're done. That's all for today. Again, I am your host, Nina Kader and Duque. I am your co-host, Robby Corda Ilaw. And, and this, this is, is Art Talk, Talk where, where we talk, talk about, about art. art.